This here is a 66 Mustang. Belongs to a friend. But I'll be hopefully getting back on the road soon. So I'm not sure if it's an original 289 or 302. They're all kind of the same block from from a first look at least. Again, 66, some sort of manual transmission. Not sure if it's a three speed or four speed. I'm pretty excited. It needs a ton of work. It doesn't have too much rust. dead. New floorboards. Everything is in the trunk. All of the all the moldings. If you guys don't know how to open up a 66 Mustang with the hood, it's a two-hander here. There's a lever down there. You pull up on it and then you pull up on the on the hood and then it'll open. So the story behind this car was my friend's mom actually owned it. Um, she had it parked for about five years. Uh, unfortunately, she passed away and so her daughter couldn't take it down to Key West. So I'd offered to uh, get it up and running. Now, the story with this is um, Tammy, her ex-boyfriend, ended up uh, pulling out all the spark plugs, uh, messing with the firing order and the timing. So, that's kind of why you see all this mess. Again, I'm not sure if, uh, if it's a 302 or a 289. Maybe you guys could tell me just by looking at it. Yeah. Of course, it has a hall carburetor. Two barrel. With the Edelbrock performer. Intake matter. It's not a bad. It's not a little bad starter car. I've had a few 302s. Love them, great power, especially on this light chassis. So even if it's a 289, uh, which I've heard you can get pretty decent power out of these. I'm actually pretty excited. This uh, car used to be uh, green, original color green, kind of like the Bullet Mustang. I'm not sure what the code name is, but again, I'm pretty excited. Pretty excited to get to work on this thing. Uh, I'm actually waiting for my brother to get back. And then we're gonna go pick up the truck and trailer. Let's see this door. A little sticky. Right. We'll keep you guys updated.